The Big Bend National Park. This beauty is located in the far west side of Texas and it sits right next to the Mexican border. With over 800,000 acres of protected land in the park for anyone to visit and it could take months just to explore the whole thing. The Big Bend National Park is full of natural sights and wildlife to where you are bound to be amazed by how much this park has to offer. One of the key features that this park contains are the different ranges of land formations. This park's land features consist of deserts, grasslands, mountains, and canyons. There are plenty of questions to how these have formed throughout the years in such a relatively close area in Texas. This is where geology comes in, and to some people, this is a geologist's paradise, as there is such a variety of rocks, minerals that can be found in the park. Within the park you may find sandstone, limestone, clay, gravel, volcanic rocks, and many more. The complexity of this park has baffled many different geologists. By not knowing how to explain it, or the plentiful amounts of different rocks and minerals to where they're not sure where to begin. But that is the beauty of what the park has given us, through the wide variety of scenery that makes us wonder and our jaws drop. There is a long section of the Rio Grande that flows in between the United States and Mexico's border. Along this section is where the edge of the Big Bend National Park resides. And this span of a river that the park protects is over 196 miles of the river, which is about a quarter of the length of the Rio Grande that separates the border in between the two countries that reaches around a thousand miles in total. The reason the park is called the Big Bend is the abrupt change of course that the Rio Grande takes into the winding long path carving out the canyon around the Chisos Mountains. When it comes to the canyons, it is a wonder towards how they were formed, and the water from the Rio Grande has a part in the reasoning behind that. Water is a powerful force, and that could remove so much of the ground, and all it needs is time. The water of the Rio Grande has replenished and sustained so much wildlife ever since it has started to form 10,000 years ago. Around the canyon of the Rio Grande, there are streams and tributaries that feed into the river that could reach out to many different plants and animals. Within this special landscape, there is such a diverse set of many different animals to where you may not even expect some of these animals to be there. There are all sorts of animals that include water, land, and flying animals that you can keep an eye out for and keep quiet to not scare them off. While along the water's edge of the Rio Grande or boating down the canyon, you may see some turtles, 50 different species of fish, beavers, leopard frogs, and a couple types of waterfowl. Looking up the canyon walls and mountaintops, you could have a chance at seeing bighorn sheep, white-tailed deer, mule deer, bats, and squirrels. In the deserts and grasslands, you may see lizards, snakes, coyotes, more deer, javelinas, black bears, rabbits, and many more. Finally, there are 450 species of birds that live in the Big Bend National Park that many bird watchers love to see and take pictures of. These include the acorn woodpeckers, canyon wrens, hummingbirds, Mexican jays, and as well as the endangered bird species of black cape vireo. Another part of nature that survives in the Big Bend National Park are the numerous plant species that live throughout their environment. There are over a thousand different species of plants that could be found in the park and some of these plants had to change to survive the limited amounts of water that could be reached to them. In the springtime it is very beautiful as in everything is starting to bloom out and there are so many colors to see from the flowers, trees, bushes, and the cacti. Everything from the trees to the blades of grass that plants give life through the nutrients and shelter for many animals that live there. The tree species that are in the high elevations consist of ponderosa pines, junipers, 
trembling aspens, and even the big toothed maple. Lower down in the elevation, you might find some mesquite, sycamore trees, and cottonwood. Then by the river, you could see more cottonwood trees and willows. Then some other plants you may find are yucca, agave, creosote bush, and many wildflowers, including the blue bonnets. There is so much scenery and life to experience while in the Big Bend National Park that everyone should experience with their own eyes with their families. This is such an amazing place to take a trip to that many people have already enjoyed and is an excellent way to get back to nature.